During the First World War, Britain was the first to utilize tanks in large numbers. German troops, on the other hand, had more thoroughly integrated tanks into their battle strategies by the Second World War, the Soviets and the Americans too. During World War II, tremendous amounts of tanks were produced by these countries. Even after the war, many battle tanks were produced largely on a major scale, so today let's take a look at the most produced tanks in history with our top 10 rundown. At number 10 is the Panzer IV. The Panzer IV was a German medium tank designed in the late 1930s and widely employed during World War II. The Panzer IV saw action in all combat theaters involving Germany, and it was the only German tank to remain in continuous production throughout the war. During World War II, 8,553 Panzer IVs of all variants were produced. With roughly 300 delivered to Finland, Romania, Spain and Bulgaria, it was the most extensively exported tank in German service. It was also seen in combat during the 1967 Six-Day War. The third-generation main battle tank that is still in service, the M1 Abrams, is the ninth most produced tank in history. The M1 Abrams entered service in 1980 and currently serves as the main battle tank of the United States Army and Marine Corps. It is exported to many countries such as Egypt, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Australia, Poland, and Iraq. This tank was first used in combat during the Persian Gulf War and has since seen action in both the Afghan and Iraqi wars under U.S. service. It was also used in a war against ISIL and also in Yemeni's civil war. A total of 10,288 numbers were built till date. At number 8, we have the T-26 tank, which was a Soviet light tank that saw service in various conflicts between the interwar period and World War II. It was one of the most popular tank designs of the 1930s until its light armor made it vulnerable to modern anti-tank weaponry. Compared to any other tanks during that period, it was the most produced tank with 10,300 units manufactured. The T-26 was widely exported and utilized by Spain, China, and Turkey. The tank was reliable and simple to maintain, and its design was continually modernized between 1931 and 1941. The American first-generation main battle tank introduced in February 1952, the M-48 Patton is the seventh most produced tank in history. Between 1952 and 1961, about 12,000 M48s were produced. Throughout its production life, the M48 had various design alterations and improvements. The M48 tank was widely used in the United States and NATO until the M60 tank replaced it. Many M48s are still in use in other countries, However, most have been heavily modernized with increased firepower, mobility, and to boost their combat effectiveness on the modern battlefields. The sixth most produced tank in history is the M60. This was an American second-generation main battle tank. During the Cold War, the M60 tank series became America's principal main combat tank and a total of over 15,000 M60s were built by Chrysler and its production was ended in 1983. The M60 reached operational capability upon fielding to U.S. Army European units beginning in December 1960. It was first used in battle in Israel during the Yom Kippur War in 1973 when it was known as Magog 6 and performed well against comparable tanks such as the T-62. Number 5 on the list for the top 10 most produced tanks in history is the T-62. This was a Soviet main battle tank that was first introduced in 1961. The T-62 was the first production tank to be equipped with a smoothbore gun capable of firing APF-SDS rounds at higher velocities. Although the T-62 was replaced in Russia and the successor states of the Soviet Union, it is still used in some countries and its design features became standardized in subsequent Soviet and Russian mass-produced tanks. 
A total of 22,700 tanks were produced till date. The Russian or Soviet second-generation main battle tank introduced in 1970, the T-72, is the fourth most produced tank in history. The T-72 was the development of the T-64, which was troubled by high cost and its reliance on immature developmental technology. About 25,000 T-72 tanks have been produced so far, and refurbishment has enabled many to remain in service for decades. It was widely exported and saw service in 40 countries and in numerous conflicts. By 2020, only 2,034 of T-72 series tanks of all variants reportedly remained in active service with the Russian Army. The most widely used medium tank by the United States and Western Allies in World War II, the M4 Sherman ranks number three on the list. The M4 Sherman proved to be reliable, relatively cheap to produce. With 49,324 tanks manufactured, including variants, the M4 was the most produced tank in American history. During World War II, the Sherman spearheaded many offensives by the Western Allies after 1942. Large numbers of M4s were produced due to its relative simplicity of production and significant investment in tank recovery and repair units allowed disabled vehicles and returned to service quickly. The Allies gained numerical advantage in most engagements as a result of these reasons and many infantry divisions were equipped with M4s and tank destroyers. At number 2 is the T-34. This is a Soviet medium tank introduced in 1940. The tank was dubbed the greatest tank in the world by German commander Paul Ludwig when the Germans encountered it in 1941. It was the mainstay of Soviet armored forces during World War II. Its production method was continuously refined and rationalized to meet the needs of the Eastern Front, making the T-34 quicker and cheaper to produce. Despite the loss of tens of thousands of T-34s in battle against the German Wehrmacht, the Soviets eventually manufactured over 80,070 T-34s of all kinds, allowing continuously increasing numbers to be fielded. It was the most produced tank of the war, as well as the second most produced tank of all time, replacing numerous light and medium tanks in Red Army service. Number one on the list for the top 10 most produced tanks in history is the T-54-55. The T-54 and T-55 tanks are a series of Soviet main battle tanks that were introduced in 1947. The T-54 became the main tank for Soviet armored divisions, Warsaw Pact armies starting in the late 1950s. Since their introduction in the last half of the 20th century, T-54s and T-55s have been involved in many of the world's military conflicts. The T-54 or 55 series is the most produced tank in history. The series' estimated production numbers range from 86,000 to 100,000. In the Soviet and Russian forces, they were superseded by the T-62, T-64, T-72, T-80 and T-90 tanks, although they are still in service by up to 50 other armies throughout the world, some of which have undergone significant retrofitting. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today, but don't forget to hit that notification and subscribe button for more videos from the buzz. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.